Ferry at Bush Stadium. Mike, this place has a special place in your heart as well, doesn't it, Fort Leonard Wood? That's right. I took my basic training there in my uh, second eight weeks there, and I was what they called back then uh, an engineer. And uh, you didn't want to be an engineer uh, because those were the guys that built the bridges for the rest of the troops to go across. So while you were building the bridge, they were shooting at you over there. So don't go into that part of it. <laughs> but I had a really great time. Of course, it's a whole lot different now now today than when I was back in there in the 60s. I guarantee you, it's a whole different game. It's one of the supreme bases in our country. And they train just about everybody that goes into the action. It doesn't matter whether they're Army, Navy, they all get some kind of training up there, specialized training at Fort Leonard Wood. They do an unbelievable job for our country. Yeah, they really do. Uh, and I know, Mike, they send uh, they send a hello to you uh, up there at Bush Stadium. And, uh, you know, they're obviously pulling for the Cardinals, many of them from right here in, in Missouri. I want to ask you, you know, this is our special telecast every year. This one's for you. It's our ability to salute the troops all around the world on on the American Forces uh, Network as well. And I know that you want to uh, send along your best wishes to these uh, brave young men and women. They're not called American Forces anymore. They're called Armed Forces, which they should be because they're armed and they're protecting us, the women and men all over the world. They do an unbelievable job. I mean, this the services nowadays are so fantastic. They are just like our society. They have advanced to nowhere. It, you know, a lot of guys that try to get into the Army today, they can't make it. It's just too, it's too tough for them. These guys and gals that are fighting for us and for our freedom, they're the best in the world, hands down. 